Public speaking is not easy. Public speaking can drive you crazy, and yet there are some golden rules that you never ever want to break. So today, I'm going to give you seven golden rules of public speaking. Stick around. Hey, it's the Trigger, Rich Bound Trigger. Welcome back to another Leaders and Communicators where I'm sharing for about 25 years as a professional communicator, broadcaster, and leader. I'm here to help you defy the odds in life, leadership, and public speaking because I believe as a leader, communication and leadership are forever tied together and I want you to defy the odds and rise up and go to the next level. As we go through our video today, I'm going to give you seven practical tips. They're golden rules of public speaking. So let me hear from you. Do you like the golden rules? Would you add a golden rule? Give me your like, give me your share, give me your comments, your feedback right down below. And of course, hit that button and never miss another leaders and communicators by hitting that little bell. So seven golden rules. And the first one is prepare Practice, plan, do everything you do as a public speaker and do it without PowerPoint. I know visuals are important. I use visuals a lot as well. And people are using PowerPoint all the time or some sort of creative element. However, your talk must stand on its own without visuals. Because you know what happens sometimes? PowerPoint, your computer, everything can crash and go sideways even in the middle of the presentation. But if you hone your presentation, if you practice, plan it, prepare it, it can stand on its own without a single slide. PowerPoint is to be an additive, not the main attraction. So plan it, prepare it, and then decide how you're gonna add PowerPoint. Now, the second golden rule is open up with a hook. Every great freshman knows you got to have a great hook to drop in and get the right fish to bite. So whatever your audience is, whatever your topic is, what is your main hook? What's your main theme, your main focus? What's your opening story to grab their attention, get them to lean in on their chairs and say, I got to listen to this. This is going to be great. Is it a question? Is it an answer? Is it something that you want to challenge them on? But what is that hook that compels them to sit up, take notes, and not miss a single thing? Now, we all get nervous. So golden rule number three is to help you not be nervous anymore, focus on the audience, not on yourself. Why are you there to help? What is your passion all about? It's about helping people. It's about sharing what you know and elevating their game. When you focus on others more than you focus on yourself, it's a lot easier to have a lot of fun. Even if you blow it, you can still focus on them. You are there to serve as a conduit to help other people. So make it all about other people. The more you let them know this is for you, I'm here for you, again, the more they're going to lean in that chair and they are going to want to listen to everything you have. If it's about you, after a while, they're going to say, no, it's really about him and he's a big blowhard. You do not want to be a big blowhard. You want to be a great presenter and you want to share what you have to share. Now, the fourth golden rule is speak naturally. Do not get up there and act like a robot. I coach this all the time. If there's a podium, put it to the side, step out around it. Do not lock your arms, lock your head, and go with a little monotone, boring presentation. Use your highs, use your lows, voice inflection. Now, slow down your pace. You're going to have to learn how to pace the way you deliver your material because we always want to rush through it. So slow down your speaking, but do it naturally. I was speaking to someone this past week, and I threw in a triggerism. It's not a real word. It's something that I made up. 
And they looked at me and said, is that a real word? I said, no, that's one of mine. People respond to that. People like that you're you and you bring you to the conversation, not only professional, not a robot, but someone that they can relate to and enjoy and be with. So speak naturally. Number five, empower the audience. The golden rule is you're there to teach them, to equip them. So empower them. They want to have answers to the questions that they are seeking. So don't just give a presentation. Give them application. Give them direction, action steps. So walk away and say, to get here, you go here. To achieve this, you go to the next level. Empower them. Give them hope. Give them your passion. Give them the sense of you can do it. You are the coach on the stage. So empower them. Don't leave them wondering, after an hour and a half presentation, what am I supposed to do? They should know exactly step one, step two, step three. Here's what I am going to do. Now, the sixth golden rule is you're going to make mistakes. Things are going to happen. You're going to fumble words. You're going to blow names. You're going to forget your favorite story and illustration. I've done it. But when mistakes happen, roll with them. Don't over-highlight them. Don't go back and try to say, oh, that really sucked. I need to fix this. <laughs> no. Find another way to come back to it another time. Rewrap it back up. But don't draw too much attention to this. This comes from my years of being a broadcaster. In the middle of a broadcast, you can say the wrong sports stat. You can butcher a name. Forget the city. But if you come back to it another way, it has a lesser blow and lesser impact. But if you highlight it, if you exaggerate it, people remember that bad thing and it's a hard time getting back to crowd. So laugh about it, roll it off, but keep on rolling. So the seventh golden rule of public speaking is keep the focus on you and your message and not on the PowerPoint. Here's one of the current trends out there right now. Everyone is trying to make PowerPoints that wow people. PowerPoint should be an additive. One of my biggest coaching areas is get a cool slide. See the picture behind me? Get a cool slide and put a little word bubble on it. It's just a simple highlight phrase, a keynote. You speak it. You talk about it. It's a great adventure. There's something beyond that bridge. It's the wide open space that we get to explore. You tell the story. Let the picture reinforce it but do not turn around and tell them exactly what's on the screen. You are the story. You are the master. You are the one that they came to hear from. So if you use media clips or anything else, short, and you hit it with everything you have. Seven golden rules of public speaking. Would you add anything to it? Is there something missing that is absolutely crucial in your mind? Let me hear from you today. Again, give me a like, give me a share, give me a comment. Send this out to other people you know, because I'm here to help equip you in life, leadership, and public speaking to go to the next level, to defy the odds in whatever arena you're in. So I'd love to hear from you and know how I can better serve you and help you with these coaching videos. Until next time, I'm the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. God bless and have a great week.